Hi, preschool friends. I hope you're having a great day. It's time to do our lesson. Let's go ahead and sing our Hello Neighbor song first, then we will sign in. Hello, neighbor. How do you do? I'm so happy to see you. Greet your neighbor. Boogie on down. Give a high five and turn around. All right, let's go ahead and get our boards out and sign our names in. All right, my name is Miss Stephanie. I'm going to sign my name in. Here we go, right in my letters. I hope you're writing yours too. The more practice we get, the better we are at writing our names. All right, here we go. There's my name, Miss Stephanie. All right, go ahead and finish writing your name. I'm going to share my screen and show you our letter for today. Here we go. There's our letter for today. Hmm, what letter could this be? Hmm, the letter is M. M makes the sound mmm. Make that sound with me. Mmm, mmm, M. Mmm, mmm, M. Hmm, let's look at the pictures to see what starts with the letter M. Here we have a picture of a Monkey, monkey, M, mm, mm, monkey. Ooh, do you know what this delicious fruit is up here in the top corner? Mm, mm, mango, mm, mm, mango. You know what these yummy white things are here? Mm, marshmallows, marshmallows. Look at this little animal down here. Mouse, m -m mouse. Ooh, what is this? Something we see in the sky at night. M -m moon, m -m moon. Ooh, and a nice glass of milk. M -m milk, milk. Can you think of something else that starts with a letter M? Hmm, what is a part of my body and my face that might start with the letter M? Mouth, mm, mm, mouth. Can you think of something else that starts with the letter M? All right, let's go ahead and write our letter M. Here's our letter M for today. We're gonna start down here, look. I have a letter M in my name here. I'm gonna start at the bottom and go up, down, up, down, M. Let's try that again. Ready? Start at the bottom. This time we're gonna go up, down, up, down, M, capital M. All right, let's try the lower place M. Ready? I'm gonna start at the bottom and make two lumps. Lowercase M. Start at the bottom and make two lumps. M. Capital M. Lowercase M. Mm, mm, monkey. Mm, mm, marshmallow. Mouse. All right, letter M. Let's move on to our number. Oh, I have to get to our number. Here it is. Here's our number. What could this number be? Hmm. Let's figure that out. If you know this number, five, five. Otherwise, we can count to figure it out. Let's count this number out. Ready? 
Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leaves. Nine leaves. This is the number nine. The number nine. It looks like this, but we can also make the number nine a different way too. The number nine. All right. Let's go ahead. Show me nine fingers. Get your fingers up. Nine fingers. Ready? Boom. There you go. Nine fingers. Let's count it out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fingers. All right, let's jump nine times. Ready? Let's go ahead and start jumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, the number nine. Let's practice writing the number nine. Now you saw in the picture, there was a nine that looked like this. It had a circle, but then it came down and around. That could be a number nine, but you can also write the nine with a circle and a line down number nine. Number nine, let's try that again. A circle and then a line down next to it. The number nine. All right, number nine. What was our letter again? What was that letter that went up, down, up, down? M. And our number was nine. All right. Nice work. Numbers and letter practice. All right, let's go ahead. Instead of sharing a story with you, I I'm going to just talk about one of my favorite stories and then I want you to go to your grown up and tell them about a book that you have. All right, so I am actually wearing a shirt with a picture of a crayon on it. A crayon shirt because I like crayons. So I want to show you about a book I like. All right. So I'm going to share my screen again with you to show you the cover of my book, The Crayon Box That Talked. So I wore a picture of a crayon to tell you about the book that I like about The Crayon Box That Talked. I like this book because it shows us that everyone is important, just like every color in a crayon box is important. We couldn't draw a beautiful rainbow without all the colors. So this is why I like the book, The Crayon Box That Talked. I want you to take a moment and talk about a book with your grown up. What book do you like? You can even take a picture of yourself with a book and show us what book you like or a book that you have at home. So that's what we were doing today on Zoom is talking about different books. It's March is reading month. So I want you to read as many books as you can with your grown up. So I'm going to share with you on Blooms, I'm going to share a link to a book called 10 Apples Up on Top. 10 Apples Up on Top. Well, in that book, they talk about balancing things. So I want you, after reading the book, I want you to practice balancing things on your head. Yes, find a small safe toy that you can put on top of your head and try to balance. Oh, 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 I've got it. I've got a little ducky on my head. Now, can I stand up with the ducky on my head? Oh, 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 and it didn't fall off yet. I wonder what else I can do with a duck on my head. 
Did I jump with the duck on my head? Oh, oh man, it fell off. What if I had something different? And what about a glove? Can I balance a glove on my head? Oh, there's a glove on my head. All right, now what can I do with the glove on my head? Can I jump? Oh no, even the glove fell off. So find a small toy and balance with that toy on your head. Make sure it's a safe toy and nothing that a grown up says is not safe. All right. Thank you for watching this short meeting, but I'm going to share the book with you. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do some number games before we leave. All right. I'm going to hold up a number and I want you to tell me what that number is. And then we'll do a fun, silly game with it. All right, here we go. What number could this be? All right, if you're not sure, let me hold up that many fingers. Boom. All right, count those fingers and see if we can figure out what number this is. All right, here we go. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. The number six, what can we do six times? Ooh, we can do some squats. How about we do six squats? So I'm gonna stand up straight. And I'm gonna bend my knees and back up again. Let's do that six times. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. The number six. All right, let's look at another number. Ooh, what number could this be? All right, I'll help you out here. What number could this be? Let's count it out, ready? One, two, three, four. This is the number four. What's something we can do four times? Oh, we could clap our hands four times. Ready? One, two, three, four, four, the number four. All right, how about this number? What number could this be? All right, Boop. let's get those fingers up. What number could this be? Here, here we go. Let's count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The number seven. All right, what can we do seven times? We've clapped, we did squats. How about some jumping jacks? Seven jumping jacks. All right, so to do a jumping jack, you're gonna like put your hands down to your side and your feet together, and then you're gonna jump up and out. So your feet are gonna be apart like a star and your hands are gonna be out like you're making a star. All right, so together and star. Let's do this seven times, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo, the number seven. All right, let's do something else. Let's see. Oh, here's another number. What number is this? Here we go, round and round and round. This is the number. Let's count it out. What number was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the number eight. What's something else we could do eight times? Hmm. We can do some arm reaches. Here we go. Eight arm reaches. Ready? Reach up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! All right. Well, I hope you got your body moving. You're ready to read a story and have fun for the rest of the day. Bye.